We're going to look ahead at copying items in V12. So one of the main changes to copying in V12, well, there's a bunch, but the removal of the checkbox for match original color and layer. I know this is a feature that a lot of people have used. Um, I've been talking with people at FEMAP and it is planned to be included on a future dot release or probably a ne possibly a next release of FEMAP. Um, it's not in there right now. They're aware that it's a feature that's wanted, so it is coming. But in the meantime, I've, I've come up with a few things that I think that will, uh, uh, some workarounds for that. So in case you're wondering, the checkbox is missing from geometry copy for all entities, geometry rotate, reflect, mesh copy nodes, rotate, and reflect in, in elements. Uh, it does still exist for geometry scale, geometry radial copy, geometry, you know, some, some various other things like mesh revolve. It's still in there. So it is hidden around. You might still be able to use it if you're able to copy with these things. So let's go ahead and jump into copying a little bit. So we'll show our simple model here again. And one thing to note is when you use geometry, copy solid, let's say we're just gonna copy this guy, it brings up a new toolbox. We went over this on a, a past webinar with new things in V2.12, but it gives you a lot more options, which is really nice, right? Move selector, but it doesn't allow you to choose either <laughs> same layer or new layer. What it does is it's always going to copy in the layer that the entity is in. So we go layers, so we should have them already set up. We come in, it's copied to the layer here. So it doesn't matter which one I have selected, which usually, you know, with layers, it should all, you know, any new entity should go to the layer that's selected. That's not the case. It's always gonna copy it to that layer that this is on. So if you wanna just copy in the same layer, just use your normal methods, um, you know, copy mesh, solids, whatever, it's always gonna be there. What happens if you want to copy to a new layer? Um, to do that, let's guy up again. Um, there's a couple of different ways that I found. The first one I'll show you works. Uh, it's a bit time consuming, but if you like using the geometry, uh, you know, copy and these these type of things, it'll work okay. So for starters, let's say we want to copy uh, copied items. Let's make a new layer. And all right, so that's active. Um, the other thing that I'll be doing is making a new group. It's also copied layers. So as we learned earlier, copy group, I'll come in here, hit automatically add. So anything I generate in here should automatically be kicked to here. So now I go geometry, copy, solid. And we have the same options. Move that guy up it should have copied into the active group. So here we have an active group, and we know that, again, this thing is gonna be in here. So what you can do is you can, you can actually move, in, in, in group operations, we have move to layer. So you can move any of your groups, any item entities that are in groups, to a new layer. So this is kind of a nice way, if you have a lot of stuff you're copying, it might be tough to go in, because modify layer, you can only grab, you know, solids, uh, curves. You have to go in and grab a bunch of individual things. With group, you know, everything is already in there, so we should be able to move this to copied items. And when we go visible, there's, it's now in the copied items layer. So that is sort of a, kind of a convoluted way to do it, but it works, right? Multiple steps. So if you want to do it with one step, there's a new uh, new way to go about that. So let's make sure we're showing full model. So there's a new feature in V12 that's in the model merge. It used to just be merge across models, but now we have this copy and current model. So let's see. basically how this works is it gives you a bunch of different options. It looks a little convoluted at first, and I recommend exploring this thing if you can, but I like to start with all off uh, so I can come in and grab individual things. So let's say we want to copy solids again. So I'm going to select this. And the way this works is you highlight it, and then you can come in here, change your settings. You can change renumbering, um, and then you can grab from groups, ID ranges. There's a lot of different ways to select stuff. But what I want to do is select in here. And when you have the have that highlighted and you do update selected, it lets you do a graphical selection like you normally would. So now we have 
that solid selected. Uh, you have to make sure to either go in individually and grab whatever you want to add or just hit add related entity so that it pulls its curves, points, and everything with you. We don't want coordinate systems, groups, or view. And what this will do is it typically always copies, it takes the layer that the, the current entity is on and it'll copy it or create a new layer, copy it to create a new layer with only the copied item in it. And that can get kind of confusing if you have a bunch of layers. So one thing you can do is come in here and you can select a layer, right? So we can come in here. Let's say we want to offset the renumbering by 2000, just so I know exactly where it is. You can update selected. We know it's going to be the plunger. So when we do this, this thing should offset that number to 2000. So everything's all set. Uh, again, you could come in and individually choose how you want to renumber things. There's a lot of power in here. Um, you know, you can create groups for merge models, which I looked into that and I'm still kind of exploring it. It'll kick out multiple groups with only one seeming to have the materials in it. So I kind of just avoid that. Uh, let's go ahead and move this guy along. All right, so now we've got a new layer here, easy to find. If we come into visible layers only, we've got it. So fast and easy, you know, it takes a little bit to kind of get a good feel for how to use model merge, but when you do, it's always going to copy to a new layer. And the best thing you can do is offset so it's easy to find. So if you want to copy to new layers, use the file merge. Uh, if you want to copy in the same layer, just go ahead and do it like you've always been doing it.